now on the YouTube, I'm the Softman, and welcome back to some more Youth Challenge. Come on! Yes! Welcome back to some more Youth Challenge, guys. We have an FA Cup game coming up against Chelsea, who we've just lost 1-0 against in the league. Now, it is extremely close in the league at the moment, guys, with things hotting up. Hotting right up at the top. Arsenal still to play. Um, looks like they're playing against Sunderland or QPR or nobody else. Wait, hang on a minute. Sunderland, QPR or Chelsea. It's one of the two. Um, 42 points they are on. We're on 40 points. Um, but so are our three other people. It's extremely close in that top five at the moment. We certainly deserve to be there, of course, with our team, because it is absolutely ledge. But um, at the moment, guys, we've got an FA Cup game coming up against Chelsea. And there's no better way to start an episode off than again with another training session. Nobody has gone up in overall. Sandberg, Mikkel making improvements. Went back and making a tiny improvement. And Pereira Aguiar getting so close to 78 finishing. Got a transfer offer for Selim Wenbacker. Again, from Borussia Dortmund, trying to pilfer all of our players. It's going to be a no. He's an 86-rated central midfielder at 23 years of age. My God, that is ledge. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and send this guy out somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure where to send him, though. Maybe Germany would be a good place. A home game against Chelsea in the FA Cup fourth round. This is to go through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Please let us go through. One all. It's going to go to a replay at Stamford Bridge. Zampano getting injured in the process, which is difficult to take. Exactly. I'm trying to find a new player as well. He's only out for three days, though. Thank God for that. And it's another training session yet again before we go ahead and play the game. Oh, the finishing has gone up for a, a gear. And that is a big jump up towards 88, that is. Absolutely massive jump. So it's such a difference that that finishing is making to his overall ability there. Keep going on with that chance creation every day, every time. That would be great. Transfer offer for Figlia Mane, the centre-back. Now, he is a backup centre-back, although I really don't want to sell him, uh, sell him because he is a backup centre-back. Um, he's one of the people that comes in uh, when when everybody else is fucked. So I don't want to do that because I'm going to get quite a few games coming up. If I can manage to get through to the next round of the FA Cup, I'm going to have quite a few games coming up. Hmm. Just taking a sip of my chub. And Alexander Strider, an offer for him for £1.5 million for the left winger. Um, 19 years of age. I'll tell you something. I might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of Manchester United here. You can have him for that. It's fucking shit. So... Try to squeeze him out of that. Yes, thank you very much, Manchester United. I mean, pfft, just give me your money, why don't you? Transfer offer for Josh Douglas for Liverpool as well. On the left-hand side, 5.5 million. You know, let's try to squeeze a little bit more out. Again, he's not going to be top quality until, you know, many, many years into the future. Um, they've decided to match it and go ahead. Hopefully Liverpool do the same. And that's free money, guys. That's free money. Because those are no threat to me. Player has been sold to Manchester United. 1.5 million added, um, and they've decided to match 6.5 million pounds for uh, for Josh Douglas as well. Bloody, that is crazy, absolutely crazy, guys. Well, 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 it's finally happened. Unai Magro Matilla is um, been has been bought in instead of Olivier Schultz. Now he's 26 years of age. He's got a little bit more about him than what uh, Oliver Schultz has. Um, 25 million pounds and. Uh, Schultz going the opposite way probably got fleeced there, but I don't care guys this this could be the last season and I want a top quality goalkeeper in the uh, in the goal and he's already two points better in overall than uh, than Schultz is to come back into it then after the January transfer window has come and gone Barnett versus QPR we've got Magro Matilla in goal um, they've lost their last three games we should we should be winning this, and I think it's because we're missing, um, uh, we're, we're missing, you know, our wonderful striker Mulholland at the moment. One all is not what we wanted to see. We've got a replay coming up against Chelsea as well, away from home. This is going to be difficult. And here we go, another training session, including our new goalkeeper, 
um, who is still a promising player by the looks of things. The shot power has gone up to 98 now for Pereira Aguiar. Both of my strikers have got an amazing shot power. They really have. It's absolutely quality. His attacking position is very close to a 91 as well, but it's the finishing we really want to work on. We are ready and waiting for the FA Cup replay to go. Can we please win this one? Oh, we lost on penalties. I can't believe it. Pereira Aguiar missed the penalty as well, but we lost on penalties. It went to two all, guys. It's a shame, but we are out of the FA Cup. At least we can concentrate on the league a little bit now. A home game against Newcastle. They are on a brilliant run after beating Arsenal twice and Liverpool once. But they didn't manage to beat us. One all, Zampano getting the goal. Um, Mitrovic getting the goal for Newcastle. But that's another point. We aren't picking up any more than just willy-nilly points in the league at the moment. And you can see we're dropping like a stone. We are down to fifth in the league. And another training session, guys. I don't think anybody's going to go up in overall in this one. But attacking position for Pereira Aguirre has gone up. And that is a big improvement. Once that finishing goes up, guys, he is going to be 88 rated, no doubt about it. And uh, everybody else sticking where they are. And it's a big game now away at Manchester City. They've beaten United, Sunderland and Leicester in their last three games. They did, pff, another fucking point. Can we ever win a game again, please? I know we're not losing games, but we're not winning them either. We're only getting point after point here. Now, we have gone up to third in the league. Chelsea are still to play, but we're six points behind Manchester City and could be seven points behind Chelsea if they win their game in hand. And another training session before February kicks off. Remember that is, uh, we're, we're going to be back very soon with Champions League football. Nobody going up in overall. Finishing very close to 79 to make Pereira Aguiar rated 88. Now, Luis Mulholland has actually dropped um, quite a lot, actually, because I would only presume it's because of his injury that he had. He was out for six weeks, so he's dropped quite a bit. Now, the medical team have apparently turned around and said that Mulholland is okay to play, so he's going to get put in straight against Spurs. Look at that for Spurs results right there. It's brilliant for Spurs. And again, another draw. One all this time. And another point. This is crazy. How many draws are we going to get? And yet another uh, training session. Before we go ahead, oh, look at that. Pereira Aguiar has gone up to a rating of 88. And Mikkel has gone up to a rating of 74 uh, after his attributes have gone up. Brilliant stuff. But Pereira Aguiar just need that finishing up. And he will be an absolutely amazing player. We've got Juventus in the round of 16 in the Champions League. Let's see if we can get past them. An away game. Juventus versus Barnet. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that get said, but the first the, first, the um, first leg, it's a 2-1 victory. Martella and Dingame scoring the goals for us, and St Sturaro scoring for Juventus. But what a win to start things off with. Hopefully, Mackay is not badly injured. He did pick up an injury. Please tell me it's not a bad one. Oh, he's out for six fucking weeks. I don't believe it. Mind you, we've got Burke, who is rated 80, 80 behind him. So that's not too bad, I don't suppose. Away at Bournemouth in today's game. What? Let's let's just say, for example, it's going to be a draw. <laughs> Zampano and Terrasage scoring for Bournemouth. I can't believe how... We must have had, like, five draws in a row. And I'm not joking you. We've had loads of loads of draws all in a row. We can't seem to win, and we don't lose, so that's not too bad. But we should be winning. Come on, we should be winning these games. What was that, that I just saw? Oh, player development, okay. And here we go, another training session, guys. Let's see if anybody can go up in overall. Nobody has gone up in overall. The short passing is going up for the two centre-backs, which is uh, one of the things that they need to work on. Um, Aqua Fresca going up to 79 in interceptions, actually, so that's not too bad. Away at Everton today. If this is another draw, I swear to God, I'm going to pull the rest of my hair out. I can't be doing with it. Yes! Pereira, Guia, and Mulholland with the goals, getting a penalty in the 81st minute. Finally breaks... Um, the duck that we've been having with re with regards to um, with regards to draws and stuff. My God, we've been there forever. So 48 points. We're currently in fourth place. It's not too bad, I don't suppose. It's where, um, especially when we lost our best striker for six weeks. Um, we've still got a little bit of work to do, but we're eight points behind Manchester City. We're top of the league at the moment with nine games left to play. And here we go. Another training session. Can anybody go up? No, nobody can go up in overall. Crossing has gone up for Burke, and that's one of the things that really helps him along, so that's good for him. Um, look at that, attacking position is very nearly 93 for Lewis Mulholland, so hopefully he will be going up soon. Right, I can afford to do this. I've put my entire second team out against West Brom. 
Um, I need them for the for the game against Juventus. One all. Okay, interesting. I was expecting a win. Oh my god, look at that. Liverpool 5, Everton 1. That was a right result for them. But um, now we're back. Juventus, I'm going to have my full first team out for this one, guys. And another training session before we kick off this game against Juventus, guys. Nobody going up in overall. Mulholland making a jump up to 93 um, in attacking position, but nothing really else to write home about. To go through to the, uh, to the semis, to the quarters in the Champions League, we just need a draw or a win against Juventus at home for that to happen. Two all, Mulholland with both of the goals there. That means we're through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. My God, we've managed to beat Juventus on the way there as well, guys. That is crazy. Away at Reading in the league. It's the exact same team that went up against Juventus and managed to draw against them two all. One all. <laughs> Harriman, oh no. Harriman's got a bad injury, guys. Please. No, 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 no. Oh, he's only out for six days. Okay, there was a bloody ambulance there. They've made it sound really bad. We're down to fifth place, guys. This is not good. Our league form is terrible. Why? And another training session, guys. Come on, let's have a decent one. Nobody's gone up in overall. Nobody's gone up in individual stats. That was absolutely pointless showing it. <laughs> And another training session. I've got quite a few. I think March is the time for international uh, breaks as well. Mulholland's heading accuracy has gone up to 77, and that's a big jump up there for him. My main concentration is, of course, the Champions League. So I've got a second team fully out against Leicester, and we are playing Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, guys. Can we beat Leicester, though, in the league first? Otherwise, we're not going to get Champions League football next season if we can't get into there. 1-0. Spellman on the right-hand side, um, scoring the one and only goal for us. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's have a quick look at where we are. Well, we can't have a quick look at where we are in the league because now we're against Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And another training session before we kick off the game against Liverpool, guys. Nobody going up in overall or individual stats. Wow. And it's a home game against Liverpool. Quarterfinals of the Champions League. Can we get off to a good start? One all. It's not too bad, but now we need to win at Anfield to go through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Away at Sunderland today, guys. Full-on first team out there. Come on. We need wins. And we need them badly. 2-1. Dean Gamay and Pereira Aguiar with the goals. Fan Q very much eventually. We're getting some wins behind us. Again, I can't see where we are in the table because we're just about to kick off again against Liverpool in the quarterfinals. And it's the decider. Can we go through to the semi-finals? And it's a training session again before we go ahead and see if we can get through to the semis. Attacking position and finishing has gone up for Pereira Aguiar. And he's massively towards an 89 rated there. That is great. This could be the point at which we go out of the Champions League, or this could be the point at which we go through to the semis. Come on now, Barnett. Get us that win. Get in! Pereira, Aguiar with a goal, and Mulholland scoring and getting sent off as well. My goodness gracious me, Mulholland. Why did you do that? Now you're going to be out of our next game, the fucking semis, guys. We're, we're through, though. That's the main thing. Semis, get in. And a training session, guys. Very nearly at the end of the episode anyway. Um, Spellman going up to 75 after going up in ball control and stamina. Fantastic. Nobody else doing anything else, really. And I think, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave the end of the episode there. Um, we will see what happens. Uh, either the series is going to be ending in the next episode. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to figure it out. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. If we win the Champions League, that is it. That is what I wanted to do this for, um, is to get into the Champions League. Mulholland has gone behind Connor Wickham, actually, as uh, top scorer. So he's going to have to pull his socks up a little bit there. But we've only got, what, five games left of the league? And we've also got... Um, the Champions League semi-finals and hopefully, fingers crossed, the Champions League final to go through as well, guys. If we can win that one, then we've done what we wanted to do for a Barnet Youth Challenge. And we'll see where we go from there, but if you're enjoying it so far, please go ahead and leave a like. And we'll see you guys next time. Until then, have the top of the lowest. Stay safe.